today I am with the artist himself, the one who makes people stop every single day at Matthew Street to take a picture with the wonderful John Lennon. Mr. David Webster. Hi. Hello, darling. So what inspired you to start making John Lennon statues? Uh, a request really from the cavern to do the Wall of Fame and they wanted a figure leaning on the, on the wall, yeah. similar to the Hamburg figure. Fabulous. So you, you done that statue and then you went from doing that statue up to these wonderful little statues here. Yeah, no, we did the Hard Day's Night after that. The big okay. statues on the front of the Hard Day's Night. Yeah. And then um, there's a company making a film about John Lennon's life. Yeah. And they asked me to do some more statues to show sort of the eight periods of his life, which are these. Fabulous. And they are brilliant, aren't they? So, you know, you're getting there now. Your name's getting out there, film companies and everything. This one's when he's five. Five and six when he's a child. And this little uh, figure on the top is the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland because when he was a kid, that's what he loved. Yeah. He was into magic. This one's just William or just John because he loved him. He was a bit, you know, a bit naughty when he was a lad. Yeah. And then it sort of goes on to when he did his first gig in Rosebury Street in Liverpool. This was on the back of a wagon. So it was the first time he really got up and had a sing. You know. Yeah. This one's from, the, like I call it, the Casbah period. This was the original head that was on the statue on the Wall of Fame, and it got smashed and vandalised. Really? So we took it off, and the, the, the cavern owner, I had, I had a couple more in my me, in me workshop, so the cavern owner chose this one, chose that one to go on. Oh, yeah. This was the sort of Hamburg period. And he chose this one with the mop top because more people are really I like know, that know the Beatles with the mop top. Yeah. Yeah. And this is from the Abbey Road, you know, like White Holm, the Abbey Road. That's his Indian look, isn't that's, it? Well, that's sort of, yeah, that's sort of mystical period. And this is where he was living in New York. He'd had bad times. He'd come back, he was doing well again, and then. Yeah. Spat, shot. I know, it's sad it's what happened to him, isn't it? So it's uh, the cost of fame sometimes. I know. But his message was good. The words from Imagine, if you could all live like that, yeah, well, the world would be a better place. Today, when I was standing by the statue, there was a busker outside singing Imagine. That's it, yeah. And and it, it's good, it's yeah, good. It's I'll give peace a chance, any of them, they're all good. Give peace a chance. And when the teacher said to them, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he says, happy. That's and it. she says, I don't understand. And he says, well, you don't know the meaning of happy then. That's it. Exactly. So, so, he was an inspirational soul. So if you do want to come down and take a look at the exhibition. You it's, too. It's, you by the John Lennon Bar. Yeah. If you too, the John Lennon, by the John Lennon Bar. And it's free as well, isn't yeah, it? To come and have a look. Six. Yeah, 12 till 6. So, come down and we're here till next week, aren't we? Yeah, 23rd. But here's till the 23rd, so if you want to get down, come and have a nose. Bring your arty farty mates, and it's good for students as well, isn't it? Who want to. You know. and there's lots of marine pictures. Yeah. Paintings, sculptures. What's your favourite picture? Because yeah. I love mermaids, you know, and. I'm afraid there's no mermaids. I know, but they just remind me like little mermaids living under there. Probably, probably that one, that's more. Top, was, we were wild camping on the beach in Mull, and that was that's yeah. called Calgary Beach, and that was the sunset. Ooh. So, were these all inspired from your own imagination as well, do you? Yeah, well, I love sailing, so I don't do as much as I used to, so I'll you know, I'll paint instead. Yeah, and my friend Graham over here, this the bar light chip and stuff. Yeah, he's Graham Wilson, he lives in Crosby, and uh, really? he's a painter. And this one here, he sold this one, but I could have sold 20 odd times. That's people, gorgeous. People that. absolutely love it, yeah. Let's see, can you even see it? I don't even know what I'm doing to have any. So it's the bar light chip or the old bar light chip. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. So there you go, and that's the overall picture of them. That's yeah, it. It's fabulous. I love these ones, yeah. And this is a guy called Paul Skelet who worked on the film. He does animation. Yeah. And painting and photography and stuff and uh, some of his works in the film. Mm. It's called Looking for Lennon and it's on fact on the twenty. The private view is on fact on the twenty seventh of this mm. month. Do you reckon I'll get invited to go there? See if you get your ticket. Yeah. So that's probably worth having a look. You know? Okay. Peace and love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>